Tracy here with BibleDrillingMinistries.com and I'm so excited about releasing the Women of the Bible coloring book this month. I'm so excited. It is unlike any coloring book you've ever seen. I've designed it completely different than what you're used to. So if you want to see what's inside, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the inside, the images inside each of these are identical. So everything on the inside is identical. The reason why they look so different is because the size has changed and the cover is changed. And the reason why I did different covers was because I wanted you not to be confused about the size. So if you ordered this one with the little princess on the front of it, this is a princess, actually a queen. This is Esther right here. And so if you order Esther, it's a nine by six book. If you order Mary Magdalene here, it is an eight and a half by 11. So this is kind of like your standard size coloring book. And I originally created it as a standard, uh, as a kind of a, its own coloring book. And then I realized how amazing would it be for us to use some of these images in our Bibles or use some of our these images in our faith art journaling or even in our notebooks, however we want to use them. While most artists and publishers say you can't copy their images onto your own stuff, I think it would be great to be able to do that. And so I went ahead and put in here that you can do that. So you can totally do that for these coloring books. And that's why they're different sizes and they're really laid out pretty unique. So let's look inside of them. But again, I just wanted to let you know, these both are the same exact coloring book with the exception of sizes. So if you want the small one, it's called, it's the personal size, grab this one. If you want the standard size coloring book, which is much larger, grab the one with Mary Magdalene on the front of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look inside of this coloring book. Each of these retails for $9.99. So it makes a really great gift for Christmas. So as we open it, um, the covers are matte. So they're nice, soft kind of matte cover. On the edge, it just says Women of the Bible Coloring Book. And then on the back just gives you a little bit of information about this book itself. So there are 30 women of the Bible and you can use coloring pencils, you can use markers, you can use whatever you want. Um, and all of the uh, the women that are included here from Eve to Phoebe are 30 of the ones I thought were just, you know, I, I totally needed to include that in this book. I've been working with an illustrator over the course of five years to create this. So I'm so excited it's finally ready to go. So as we open up this coloring book, we have the Women of the Bible coloring book. And then of course you have a copy right here. It does say that the illustrations in this publication are intended for personal use only. So you can't like, you know, color them and then sell them. You can't like, you know, rip them out and, and sell them individually. Um, but, you, but it does say that you can trace these items onto your personal notebook, art journal, Bible, or other physical media for your personal use only. Um, so I wanted you guys to be able to take these images and put them in your Bible. And I'll show you the, the way we kind of design this so that you're going to be able to do it without ripping out the pages. It's really kind of unique. So then we have, of course, you get your free Bible journaling for beginners course. I always include this in any of our books. Um, so that just kind of helps you even if you've never Bible journaled before, you're going to be able to go and take this free course. So if you've never taken our free course before, this is your special link to type into your browser. And then we have the table of contents. So it tells you a little bit about how to use this book. And then we go into Ease, Eve, Sarah, and I'll just kind of go through them so you can see, but there are a total of 128 pages in this coloring book. Okay. So how do you use this coloring book? Well, you can color in it, obviously, just like any other coloring book. But the, re the way these images are designed, um, they're designed to kind of represent key characteristics or attributes or skills of that particular women woman of the Bible. And so you get, you know, the image and then you get who, you know, she is. And then you get verse uh, references for you to look at, actually chapter references for you to, you to look at. So if you're going to learn about Eve, you're going to go learn um, from Eve, about Eve in Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 3, Genesis chapter 4, 2 Corinthians 11, 1 Timothy 2. So I want you guys to know that you can, you know, use this along with any other kind of things that you're doing to help uh, either women's studies or children's group or even just your own study to learn more about the woman. I just don't want to put 
the women in here and not include any chapter references for you. So I encourage you to, as you're maybe coloring, you could even play an audio book in or audio book of the Bible and be listening um, to the, you know, the, in, the information about uh, the woman that you're actually coloring. So that that's kind of what I like to do. But of course, you can read about it and then color as well. So each image captures something unique about the woman. So it could be a characteristic, it could be a skill, it could be attribute, um, it could be other aspects of the woman. So here we have Eve, right? And we know Eve was deceived by Satan and she had eat from the fruit of the of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. She ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge, good and evil, and her eyes were opened. And so here we see that we, we've represented the fruit with as an apple, which is generally, you know, per, um, generally represented as an apple. But then we also have Satan that just kind of deceived her. And so you can color her here. Some of the things you can do with this, besides coloring the pages, is you can use the first references to learn more. You can trace the images in your Bible, your journal, or your notebook. You can use them in your mixed media projects. So each of these pages has a blank page on the side so that you don't have to, uh, so that you can just go ahead and uh, color with whatever medium you want. So you can use, you know, your markers. You can use, you can even use your Copic markers in here if you want to, just make sure you put something behind it so it doesn't bleed through multiple pages. You can use pencils, watercolors, acrylics, anything that you want, feel free, this is, you know, you have the blank page so that you're able to do that. There, you don't have to worry about another page on the side. Or you can actually do things like you could journal in the margins if you want to, or you can journal on the back. There's so many different things for you to do. Uh, you can decoupage them onto crafts. So if you uh, maybe have like a little tray or something and you want to decoupage her onto the tray, you can just take that off and, you know, don't just kind of cut it off here and then put it in your project. You can cut them out. You can color them. You can frame them. You can laminate them if you're doing it maybe for a long term reference. Maybe you're teaching a class and you're always going to use, you know, something maybe that you colored on Eve or, or whatever. So there's so many different things that you can do. It's not just your standard coloring book. And what's really neat about this is each besides each one having a blank, a blank page behind them. If you go to the bonus section, you get, so we go all the way here. So then we have these bonus pages here. You get the same images that, that are here, but you also get them on the left side of the page. And let me tell you why that's important. So let's say you're studying your Bible. I'm just gonna grab this one here because it's, it's one of my larger Bibles. Um, and I wanna do something, you know, I want to do, let's say, I wanna color, let me just grab one here. Let's say I want to color, let's see how I want to do this. Oh, please, hold oh, please, while I find one. So let's say I want to color Mary Magdalene, and I want to color her in my Bible. Okay, so Matthew 27, I can go to Matthew 27, Matthew 25, 26, 26. So the way I designed it, well, so that you wouldn't have to pull out any pages. So, you know, if I'm in Matthew 27, and I want to maybe color Mary Magdalene on that page, I can do multiple things. Number one, I can take this page and just put it on top and look through, and you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can definitely see her here, and I could trace her with my pencil and trace her directly on into this section here if I wanted to, okay? Or I could put this underneath here, grab my tracing paper. When you're grabbing your tracing pa paper, always the dark side goes down, right? And then you can trace directly on with the tracing paper that way if that's easier for you. But if I wanted to trace on this side of the page, well, that would be really difficult. So I can't do that with this page. So I would need to go to the other part of, of the book. So this, the bonus pages and find Mary Magdalene there. See if I can find her quickly here. So many different images and I'll, and I'll flip through so you can see all the different images. But I just wanted to show you the reason why this was such a unique 
coloring book. You've probably never seen it done before where the same pages are on the other side that allow you to go ahead and trace these images into your Bibles or into your art without having to rip out the pages. So that is how they're designed. So you get 30 women of the Bible that are on the right side of the page and then you get the 30 women of the Bible that are on the left side of the page, but also note that the um, they're flipped as well. So here where you see Eve is flipped this way, on the left page, she's flipped the other way. So it works really well because when you're tracing them into your Bibles or art journals, usually you do, I tend to trace them facing in to the, to the, um, to the margin of the book. So that's how it's designed. Let me go ahead and show you all of the images that are included. And also, if you are using a smaller Bible, I would recommend, and you want to do the tracing, I would recommend you get the smaller nine by six because that's really designed for the smaller Bible. So you can come in here. This is an interleave Bible, and I can just grab one here. Mary Magdalene again. Oh, I keep picking Mary Magdalene. That's so awesome. Um, and then I can come in here, and I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but I can. Um, I can just trace her just like that into the book just right there see or um, if I am having trouble seeing that again same thing you just take your carbon paper you place it down you put your page on top of it and then you can trace it directly into your Bible okay and then if I wanted to do it on the next page is not I'm not going to be able to do it this way I mean I guess I would have to kind of really figure that out but you don't need to because uh, we've designed it this way, so you can just grab this one here and place it right there, just like so. So that is how it is designed. And then I can, of course, put some tra tracing paper, do the same thing on the side as well. So that's how it's designed. That's what it's designed for. And I hope that encourages you to grab your Bible and do some Bible journaling with some of these images or just color them because they're lots of fun to color. So here we have Eve. We can learn about her and I've actually already gone through her so I won't go into more detail here but we have Sarah as well and here are all the verses that you can learn about Sarah in anywhere from Genesis um, uh, Genesis chapter 11 through Genesis chapter 25 of uh, 49. Then we have Romans 4 and 9. We have Hebrews 11 and 1 Peter 3. Then we have Hagar here, Genesis 16 and Galatians 4. And I'm not going to go into detail on all of them. So I, I hope that you'll kind of think about maybe as you're doing this, asking yourself like, well, why is Rebecca's hair look like a bunch of water? Well, you'll learn more about that in Genesis chapter 24 through 27. Or maybe you want to know why Leigh is holding this baby so close, Genesis 29. Or tomorrow, why does she look like a little bit sad? And why does she look like kind of like a beggar almost? Well, we'll just learn a little more about tomorrow. Or Rachel, why is she dressed in a wedding outfit? <laughs> so we have our Joshi bed. Why is, does she have a little basket here with reeds, right? What's What happened to her? What did she do with that basket? Who was in that basket? We have Miriam. Why does she look like she loves music and maybe dancing and tambourines and things like that? Why does Rahab have such a long rope made out of, you know, weaved through her hair, right? What did she do? Why do we want to know about that? Then we have Deborah. Why does she look like she could be a warrior? We have Delilah. Why does Delilah have a bunch of treasure in her hair? So what we've done in, you know, here's Ruth. Why does she have so much wheat? in her hair. <laughs> so what I've done in w working with the illustrator is making sure that each of these women have something in, you know, their image. You know, why is um, Hannah just praying? You know, why does Abigail have all these crosses? Does she have a lot of faith? Like what, what, you know, and, and so that's why we've done this. Why does Bathsheba have water kind of dripping from her, in her hair? Why does Jezebel look kind of almost a little bit evil. <laughs> so you'll just see that we have a lot of different, you know, women here of the Bible represented. We have Esther here now, and she has a crown. We have Mary. Of course, Mary has baby in her hands. Then we have Mary of Bethany. She's holding a heart. 
Um, we have Mary Magdalene. She's very, very sad holding uh, the crown of thorns in her hands. Then we have Martha. We know Martha was such an amazing hostess. So she just has all this fun baking stuff in her hair. And then we have Elizabeth here. And then we have Anna. We have Tabitha, and she's got actually like the Holy Spirit behind her. Interesting. You'll have to learn about Tabitha in Acts 9 if you want to know why she is facing the other way. And got the little doves flying around her. We've got Lydia here. You'll have to read about her in Acts chapter 16 or Philippians 1 if you want to know why does she have all this sewing stuff in her hair. And maybe I should color some of these a different color based on what I'm reading in the Bible. Then we have Priscilla here. We've got Phoebe as well. So those are all of the women that are included in this coloring book. And then you have your bonus pages. And then I just wrote here in general, artists don't allow tracing of images. However, the images on the following pages are designed for those who want to trace these images onto the right side of their Bibles without tearing the page, as well as for those who like to color on the left page of this book. You can also trace these images in an art journal or notebook. I have heard um, some people say that, you know, they're le sometimes left-handed, -hand um, friends, I know Lonnie is left-handed. It's not easy always to be coloring on the right side of the page. So if you are left-handed or know someone who's left-handed, um, this might be easier for them to color on this side of the page, although most books are printed on the other side of the page. So there's so many different uses for this, but again, they're the same images, just repeated, but flipped horizontally and on the opposite side of the page designed for you to use to color in, again, your Bible, your art journaling, or if you just want to uh, use your left hand and and and, and uh, color on this side of the page you can use again any supplies that you want markers copic markers pencils i'm working on mine and pencil right now and i would just encourage you to maybe play the bible chapters in the background and maybe listen as you are doing your coloring and i can't wait to see what you guys are doing with this so please if you do purchase one of these books and you start to color in it would you please either send me a picture of what you're doing at support at BibleJournalingMinistries.com or uh, better yet, post it to our Bible Journaling for Beginners Facebook community and share with everybody what you're doing because I am so curious as to how you guys will use this and what you will be doing with it. And then at the back you have um, just a little bit about me and our ministry. Uh, there are some blank pages included. So if you want to test out your product before actually coloring it in the coloring book, you do have at least one page to do that. So you can color, you can test your Tombow markers or, you know, your Prisma color pencils or your Derwent ink tense pencils, whatever you're using, you can test on these pages if you don't want to test them in your coloring book at the beginning at first. Okay, so that is the big one. And the little one, again, it's the same, but it has a different cover just be, because I want you to know, uh, I don't want you to be confused. <laughs> so sometimes when you're looking at things on Amazon, they look like the exact same book and I don't want you to like think you're getting the small one but then you accidentally order the big one or you order the big one thinking you're getting the small one. The small one has Esther on it and the big one has Mary Magdalene on it. But other than that, they're the exact same they're the exact same book. So you can see here all of the women here all of the women here are the exact same. So I'm just kind of flipping through real quick so that you can just see that they're all the same. They're just in a smaller book, smaller size book here, okay? And then we have the bonus pages and then your blank page and then we have Eve and then we go on the other side with the flipped version of that girl. So that is the new Women of the Bible coloring book. So let me know what you think about these in the comments below and stay tuned for a giveaway because I definitely know that we're gonna be wanting to give away these books here shortly. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.